Welcome to Master Guitar Frets Lesson 1 for Beginners. My name is Jörg and in today's lesson we will learn how to build your calluses for guitar playing. The lesson will focus to build up your calluses and to hopefully make your guitar playing sessions and practice sessions more enjoyable and pain-free. However, totally pain-free it won't be. As with any new things you learn, there is a little bit of pain. And as they say, no pain, no gain. In this lesson, we will also focus to keep your hands and fingers healthy by doing some stretching and some strengthening exercises, which is also very important when first attempting to play the guitar. If you like what you see, then please subscribe to my channel. And with no further ado, let's get to the lesson. Now the bad news is that we won't actually play the guitar in this lesson. We're just going to focus on building calluses and do some strengthening exercises. The good news is that you can do those exercises anytime while you're watching the show. Okay? So number one, before you play, always make sure that you stretch your hands a little bit. Okay? So it could be as simple as opening your fingers, stretch them out, opening your palm, hand, and then make a fist and hold that a little bit, stretch out, fist, hold that. You do that about 10, 15 times, right? You could also, because, you know, as a new guitar player, you're doing stuff with your wrist that you might not be used to. So do some stretching, hand down, hand up. And while you're doing that, you can, of course, do that with your other hand, too. Right? Do some good stretching. Number two. Get yourself a little squeeze ball and use that for both your hands. That will strengthen your hand and your fingers. And it will condition them to play. And, of course, you can do it with the other hand, too. So you build that up as well. Okay. Very inexpensive. Now for calluses building, you can take your guitar. Don't worry about the strumming because we want to be not worry about strumming. We just want to worry about building calluses. Go in a nice uh, comfortable spot on your neck where your arm, your hand is very relaxed. Okay. I'm going to go to the fifth fret. Index finger, uh, low, E. Fifth fret, middle finger, sixth fret, ring finger, seventh, pinky, eight. Okay? So I'm just going to run that. Then I move down to the A string, fifth fret, and doing the same thing. I move down to the D string, I'll do the same. G, do the same. B, do the same. Low, uh, high E, do the same. Then I'm going to go back up. And I'm not really worried about making any sound. It's not about speed. It's just about conditioning your fingers. And again, you can sit on the couch, watch a movie, and you can do that. One thing about guitar playing is uh, this fretting hand doesn't have to be uh, cramped up. It's actually it's supposed to be a bit relaxed. Okay, so try to do that in a relaxed fashion. And that will also kind of, is a nice finger exercise that will help you. Stay calm and relaxed. Don't worry about it. So that's uh, one calluses exercise. You're traveling and you want to keep building up your calluses. There's several things you can do. You can use your fingernails, provided that you do have any. Okay. And then kind of use the fingernail of the thumb 
to work the fingertips, right? And you can do that in a plane, in a car, in a train. You can also use a credit card that works too, right? Or you might find some other objects that suit themselves to kind of pretend they're guitar strings to build up calluses. Whatever you do, you don't need to feel pain. Once the pain sets in, just stop, okay, and focus on something else, and then go back to it half an hour later or whatever. We want to make sure that this is a nice and slow process. No need to be in pain. And you have to be patient. It's going to take a while to build this up, okay? It's going to take weeks, but you're going to see a nice progression, and you're going to see things improve. Now, the best thing to build calluses, and I keep always the best for last, is bending. So bending means that you're in guitar playing, that you bend the string a half note or a note up or more. And bending will really build your calluses. Bending can also be painful, okay, because you're putting a lot of force on a string. So the best way to bend is to I'm on the G string here, on the seventh fret, with my ring finger. And I'm just kind of going between the B string and the G string. And I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing it and I'm bending it up. When you do a bend up, you want to sort of come underneath the string a little bit and grab it and bend it up, okay? So it's not just, you don't just do it with one finger, you actually put all your fingers down and all fingers help bend that you kind of simultaneously pull, push up. Could even try your vibrato a little bit. And you don't have to pick it, okay? Like I said, you can, but you can just do this. You can do it just with the middle finger, so that gets exercised. You can just do the index finger and exercise that. You can also do the pinky, and for the pinky, you probably need to the assistance of those two fingers to help you push up, okay? Now, a word of caution. Bending takes a lot of uh, power of the fingers, the muscles, and you don't want to injure yourself while doing that, okay? So do it a few times. Once you notice that you get fatigued, stop, right? Go back to this. And then try a little bit of bending again later on, right? You don't want to injure your hand. You want to injure your fingers. So I slowly build up strength, and they slowly build up your calluses. So all this will help build up your fretting hand, build up strength, calluses, to make your playing a better experience and less painful. I hope this lesson will help you. I truly wish I could send you some calluses in the mail, but unfortunately, you have to work on that. If you have success, please leave a comment for me so I can kind of keep track how people are doing. And if you like this lesson, then please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, rock on and thanks for watching.